Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the non-tropic hormones of adenohypophysis. Adenohypophysis secretes three hormones that act directly on their target tissues. These include melanocyte stimulating hormone MSH, prolactin PRL and growth hormone GH. It is also called as somatotrophin. The melanocyte stimulating hormone or MSH is a peptide hormone. In lower vertebrates, large amounts of MSH are produced from the intermediate lobe of pituitary. In humans, MSH is produced from pars intermedia of anterior pituitary in extremely low quantities. The MSH regulates the activity of pigment containing cells that is melanocytes. That is why its name is melanocyte stimulating hormone. These melanocytes are found in the skin of many vertebrates. This hormone stimulates the synthesis of black pigment melanin by melanocytes. In these melanocytes, not only this is synthesized, but its dispersion is also controlled by MSH within the melanocyte. Melanocyte ke andar agar ye disperse ho jata hai, to skin ka color black ho jata hai, aur agar isko concentrate kar diya jaye, to skin ka color light ho jata hai. That is why ke ye uh, melanocyte ke upar effect karta hai. So this leads to darkening and lightening of the skin color. Melanocyte stimulating hormone humans may to itna zyada produce nahi hota is liye skin ki pigmentation humans may zyada tar ACTH adenocorticotropic hormone control karta hai. MSH melanocytes ko control karne ke ilawa bhi kuch roles play karta hai. For example, mammals may hunger ko bhi effect karta hai. भूख लगने के अमल को इनहिबिट करता है by acting on some neurons in the brain. इसके अलावा, it is also involved in fat metabolism. Prolactin. Prolactin has diverse effects in different vertebrates. In birds, it uh, regulates fat metabolism and reproduction. In amphibians, it delays the process of metamorphosis. In freshwater fishes, it regulates salt and water concentration. While in mammals, it stimulates mammary gland growth and milk production. Dear students, now we shall discuss growth hormone in detail. The growth hormone is also known as somatotropin and somatotropic hormone. It is a protein that contains 191 amino acids in a single chain. The production and release of growth hormone is under the control of two hypothalamic hormones. One is the growth hormone releasing hormone that is GHRH and the other is the somatostatin that is growth hormone inhibiting hormone GIH. The growth hormone exerts both metabolic and developmental effects. First we shall discuss the metabolic effects of growth hormone. Growth hormone induces mobilization of stored fat for energy metabolism. 
it stimulates fatty acid uptake by the muscles. It also decreases the rate of glucose utilization. As a result, it causes elevation of glucose in blood. Growth hormone also increases the rate of protein synthesis in most cells of the body. It also stimulates insulin secretion. Insulin ki secretion growth hormone ki wajah se directly or indirectly dono tarah se hoti hai. Directly is tarah se ke ye beta cells of pancreas par directly act karta hai aur unhe stimulate karta hai insulin secretion ke liye. Ye wo wahe tropic effect hai growth hormone ka. Otherwise iske baaki tamam effects non-tropic hai. But this is the tropic effect. Indirectly, ये insulin की increase को insulin की secretion को इस तरह से increase करता है कि ये blood में glucose levels को high करता है. जब glucose level blood में high होंगे तो insulin produce होती है. Overall, अगर हम देखें तो growth hormone enhances body proteins. It uses up fat stores and conserves carbohydrates. Now we shall discuss the developmental effects of growth hormone. It causes growth of almost all tissues of the body. It stimulates RNA and protein synthesis and promotes the growth of tissues, particularly cartilage and bone growth. The Growth of tissues due to growth hormone is because of cell division, that is proliferation, increase in the number of cells. Growth करने के दो तरीके होते हैं, एक increase in the number of cells और दूसरा increase in the size of cells. ये increase in number of cells को promote करता है. Growth hormone works synergistically with the thyroid hormones. And promotes tissue growth during development. Growth hormone also stimulates liver to produce growth promoting factors. For example, insulin like growth factor, which is IGFs. These IGFs are somatomedins. They act directly on cells to promote growth. तो ग्रोथ हार्मोन ऐसे फैक्टर्स को भी प्रोड्यूस करवाता है। डियर स्टूडेंट्स, ग्रोथ हार्मोन इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट इन दी डेवलपमेंटल प्रोसेसेस ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमंस। इट्स अंडर स्क्रीशन और ओवर स्क्रीशन हैज ड्रास्टिक इफेक्ट्स, व्हिच लीड टू एब्नॉर्मल ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दी बॉडी तीन इस तरह की मेजर ह्यूमन फैक्ट सिम्टम्स हैं जो कि ग्रोथ हार्मोन की डिस्टर्ब के लेवल की डिस्टर्बेंस की वजह से प्रोड्यूस होते हैं उसमें से पहला जाइगेंटिज्म है बहुत बड़ा कद होना एक्सेसिव साइज एक्सेसिव स्टेचर अगर ग्रोथ हार्मोन प्यूबर्टी से पहले चाइल्डहुड में ज़्यादा अमाउंट में सिक्रीट हो जाए तो बहुत ज़्यादा कद में इजाफा हो जाता है इस हालत को जाइगेंटिज़म कहते हैं दूसरा जो ह्यूमन सिम्टम है दैट इज एक्रोमेगली एक्रोमेगली में अगर ग्रोथ हार्मोन की सिक्रीशन ज्यादा हो आफ्टर प्यूबर्टी तो उसके नतीजे में हेड की बोन्स और एक्सट्रीमिटीज की बोन्स ज्यादा लंबी हो जाती हैं और इस हालत को एक्रोमेगली कहते हैं अगर ग्रोथ हार्मोन की सिक्रीशन चाइल्डहुड के दौरान प्यूबर्टी से पहले जो डेवलपमेंट की एज है उसमें कम हो तो फिर डॉर्फिज्म प्रोड्यूस होता है जिसमें स्टेचर शॉर्ट रह जाता है हम इसे कॉमन लैंग्वेज में बोनापन कहते हैं दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ ग्रोथ हार्मोन 